Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths Cheese Tactics. Because uh, the last subscribe craft review I did, I was reminded of the existence of spin block shenanigans, which, let's be fair, is something that I could make a three hour video on just covering all the kinds of stuff you can get up to purely with spin blocks in this game. But we need to break it up a little bit, simply because that video would be a hundred years long. Or perhaps not a hundred years long. It'd be embarrassing if I said it would be a hundred years long and then it turns out to be five minutes or something. Anyway, uh, the topic for today is a little thing that, um, it's, a, it's not a new thing. It's been around, I think, ever since spin blocks were first added to the game, and that is uh, spin block detection. So we've got our uh, canoe type thing here, which is pretty much my bog standard design these days. It's just, it's uh, it's uh, pointy at both ends, it's got a gun or two on it, it's got superstructure of a sort, it's got, uh, what has it got? It's got props underneath to keep it stable, it's got uh, these azipods, which I am completely in love with uh, these days. I am so, so fond of these things. Um, not because they're like the best way to steer a craft, frankly, and um, it's also like, uh, yeah, it's a pretty satisfactory craft. Paint job isn't my best work, but you'll notice something odd about it. Um, it doesn't appear to have any detectors on it. It has, yeah, and I know there's going to be people in the comments section saying like, this is the ugliest superstructure in the world. Well, I'm still learning, okay? It takes a lot more time in front of the depths than I've spent on the particular topic of superstructure for me to get good at it. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So, we are currently happily shooting away at this pair of marauders because one marauder is frankly uh, not fun enough uh, to shoot to death all at once. And, um, but uh, so you'll see that uh, as of right now, uh, the game is set to the standard detection. Automatic detection is currently 0.1. Uh, which means that a craft without any detection will miss horribly. And yet this thing's firing just fine. Uh, so what's happening in here? Well, it's spin block detection. So it has uh, all its detection hidden on turrets, like uh, this little bearing rangefinder right here, and its friend over here, hidden inside the structure of the craft itself. And the rest of it is hidden on spin blocks. And this is an exploit which, as far as I'm aware, uh, the devs are probably never going to fix because it is a bit of a coding nightmare and simply because, I don't know, there are some people who actually love to do this simply because, well for one thing, it's a little bit like spinbok propellers in that aesthetic builds benefit hugely from hiding certain things like behind other blocks. And um, yeah, it's just like, it is super cheaty. I think most tournaments uh, that you will find on From the Depths uh, ban this kind of thing outright simply because, well, it's really, it's really cheap and cheesy. So, what what exactly is meant by uh, spin block detection? So, you'll see here that this is a thing mounted on a spin block. And um, a thing about detection, and uh, we're going to just delete that thing and put this and put the maraud out of its misery. So, if we have a detection system, let's say, let's, what shall we use? What shall I, what do I never use? Camera 360, for instance. So, um, you'll notice immediately just me placing this thing, it says aligned backwards of the vehicle is blocked, so detection in this direction, uh, detection in this direction is, is disabled. So, uh, pretty much all, or most detection systems with the exception of, I believe, the wireless snooper, and the boy holders, uh, they need to be able, they cannot see through most blocks. So if I say this, uh, the backwards, excuse me. So this visual camera uh, behind it is this superstructure right here, blocking it from seeing from behind it, which means out of the uh, five directions it can see in, which is uh, forward, backward, uh, left, right, and up, it cannot see backwards because it's being blocked. Makes sense, right? If I put something here, you'll see also it's now blocked forwards, and now to the sides as well, and now also on top. So, one, two, three, four. Right. Interesting. Backwards, forwards, right, upwards. So you can see left, though. 
Interesting. There's not a tooltip that says, that says like, hey, I can't see left. Okay. But there are there are blocks which uh, visual detection, and by visual detection I mean uh, things like the retroreflection sensor, 360 camera, basically all the cameras. Uh, they can see through them. So if you go here to the glass section, if you go here, you'll see this thing uh, can now see to the sides because it can see through glass blocks, no problem. And the exact same thing with my favorite thing to do, which is portholes. And it actually does not matter uh, which um, orientation you have uh, for portholes. You can have them like this. Uh, they'll still, still see through them. Which is balanced in a sense, because uh, you can't make beams of these things. Uh, portholes, uh, they just have the uh, health and armor of a 1 meter, in this case a metal block, and an alloy block. So you can't exactly stick heavy armor in front of them and expect to get good results. It's, I believe, only visual things that can do this. So, let's see... IR. Can the IR, IR tracker see this? It can see this. Can the radar do it? Nope. Can't do it. And radar. Wait, it can do it? What? I guess with trackers it doesn't actually uh, track uh, whether it can see through things at all. Which is weird, but in any case. So that is uh, with detection that's actually properly mounted on the hull itself. Um. When it's mounted on a spin block, a detection uh, does not... Well, it sees straight through the hull. So if we go here, let me shrink the blocks, and you'll see I have cunningly hidden a 360 camera in here, and it can see straight through absolutely everything, despite the fact that it is surrounded uh, with extra alloy superstructure. Actually, I, I missed a point here. That's no good. Let's fix that quickly. Dang it. There we go. Oh no, that's actually exactly what I wanted. Whoopsie daisy, sorry I'm getting distracted. Do 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 do. There we go. There we go. No one saw that. What was I talking? Ah uh, yeah, so the... Uh, this 360 camera and the... Retroflection sensor and the laser range rider behind it is nice and snug and secure on a spin block surrounded by portholes. And also, there's a coating of alloy surrounded. So this is incredibly hard. Well, not super hard. This is just, it's one, basically one layer of metal and one layer of alloy uh, with no armor stacking between them because sub-objects and the main hull, they cannot do armor stacking at all. But, uh, yeah, it's two independent layers of stuff, and it's the same that goes for these munition warners over here, and for these coincidence rangefinders uh, down here. They're uh, surrounded in one uh, protective shell, and then another one, and they can see straight through the second one. This is perhaps not the best vehicle to show off the maximum potential of spin block detection, uh, simply because, I don't know, it's not quite big enough. It works a lot bigger on big ships with a nice... Um, clear uh, air gaps in them that you can just hide those detection spin blocks in uh, because there are limits to this so you'll notice that pretty much all of these uh, above deck uh, detection uh, these munition warners these cameras and so forth uh, they're all above deck in roughly the same place you'd have them uh, excuse me uh, on a regular craft like even if you weren't gonna stick them on spin blocks and uh, that is because and I will demonstrate this right now with my magic sub-object. So this is what this thing looked like uh, without all the blocks surrounding it. It looks very ugly. Uh, things, the code that still checks for things... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The code that checks for things being above or below the water uh, still works uh, when you have uh, spin blocks like this. So if you do this... Uh, you'll see this thing is... Eh, let's see here. There we go. Uh, cannot function below water. And it bobs up again. Actually, this thing is just barely able to see out of the water. That's kind of funny. In any case, um, you cannot stick a camera. So let's do this, for instance. Um, 
This thing uh, cannot see below the waterline, even if you stick it on a spin block. So if you want to try spin block shenanigans and put cameras on a submarine, that's not going to work. Uh, you do have to stick uh, cameras and stuff above the waterline, even if they're on a sub-object, be it a turret or a spin block. And uh, so yeah, that's um, not the best way to use them. Uh, one particularly uh, incredibly cheesy way to use this is to stick a sonar inside the hull. Because this uh, passive sonar right here, which by the way is there, uh, so these counter torpedoes uh, can do their job properly, this thing is inside the hull. And not only is it inside the hull, it's got an extra layer of metal surrounding it. So it's got its own little citadel right here, and spaced armor, and just two layers of metal right here. Uh, good luck uh, taking uh, that out that passive sonar right there. Which is a good thing, because otherwise, um, well, it's a very handy thing. It's super cheesy. Did I mention this is uh, cheesy? This is a beautiful, beautiful, creamy gorgonzola. So, normally, with sonar in particular, uh, you have to stick it in a way that it is pretty much always vulnerable in some way. I mean, you can kind of hide it uh, within the hull a little bit. So if you do something like this, uh, the closest, the best thing you can do in order to protect it is something like this. However, this does block most of the uh, angles it can see at, so not actually that worth it. There are examples for how to uh, do that kind of thing in a slightly smarter way, and I will demonstrate this one right here. Hopefully this still has it. Our friend the Bulwark. Handy to memorize what craft look like that. Bulwark looks interesting in my fleet colors. So, where is it? There it is! You'll notice that um, uh, the Bulwark and other craft like it, the way it uses passive sonar in order to give it as ma much protection as possible is to kind of embed it uh, within the hull itself. Problem is, it can really only see in one direction, so it, this cannot see forward, cannot see backward, cannot see up or down, it can only see to the left. And um, usually for the Bulwark, this isn't really a problem. Uh, because um, this was made back in the days when lambs were a lot better against torpedoes than they, than they are now. And it, like, it, it can see pretty much every torpedo coming at it from the side, which is where they usually come from. And I believe it has more of them in the front and in the back. Yep, you see right here, here's another one. And you see all the way here in the back. Never really looked at the Bulwark's hull this closely before. It's a... Uh, Interesting and also very simple at the same time. So, it doesn't have a real one. Interesting. Very interesting. Fire torpedoes up its butt. It's um, apparently that's a good strategy. Now let's get you out of here before you lag the game. So yeah, that is one way to go. That's the legit way to do it if you don't want to be a cheesy bastard. But uh, if you're feeling like being a cheesy bastard and keeping your passive sonar 100% uh, safe, the spin block thing is an option. It's very naughty. It's very, very, uh, very naughty. And that's pretty much all there is to talk about. Like, if you really wanted to be serious uh, with maximum cheese, uh, you could essentially stick a spin block, like, uh, just here and there, and stuff... Well, you could do stuff like this. So, uh, the strongest block in the game by far is heavy armor, so what you could do if you were an evil, evil person, is uh, something like this. So, one, two, and wireless receiver. I just realized I put the paint on. And detection components, let's say. I just realized this isn't on a spin block, but just pretend it is. So, nah. We can, we can put a spin block there. We can put a spin block right here. Do 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 I hate using radars. That's upside down. That's no good. Already, this thing can see through the blocks behind it. And now, if you really want to be cunning, do this. And ta-da! You now have a. Radar that is covered in heavy armor and is 
pretty much immune to being uh, destroyed because heavy armor is so absolutely ridiculous. And you might be wondering, is it a good idea to stick this uh, above deck? <laughs> well, uh, yes and no. <laughs> You'll need to do some real uh, handy tricks in order to ensure that uh, your craft is still buoyant uh, with a superstructure made of heavy armor, but could entirely be worth it. I'm not about to do that though, because that's super, super cheesy. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. This is, um, let's uh, shoot at another thing. Oh, you know what we should do? We should shoot at a plunderer, because that's really fun. It's really fun. Let's see, that's not anything I actually want to do. Plunderer. And you'll get kind of a demonstration at just how durable uh, that kind of spin block detection can be. Because uh, that setup there, even though it's just a, essentially a layer of alloy and a layer of metal, uh, it can take multiple cram volleys and uh, still do perfectly well. So let's go here, and let's go here, let's go there, and away you go. Is that gonna miss? No, it isn't. So we hit the superstructure, but the bearing rangefinder is snug and safe inside it. And just like that detection is going to last quite some time uh, before the uh, plunderer actually manages to destroy it. Which makes quite a difference. Like, um, always handy to test... Um, how durable your detection systems are and how good your defenses are for them against something with cram cannons simply because um, they do so much damage they do a lot of damage <laughs> and uh, we're doing a lot of damage right now well a fair amount of damage this thing does not have great firepower mostly because it's a test vehicle and turn off the repairs there let's show this off a little bit Thought that was heavy armor for a second, that was weird. So yeah, that's basically it for spin block detect. There's so much stuff you can do with spin blocks from the depths. So much stuff. And uh, hiding your detection behind uh, four to two meters of metal, or two to four meters of metal, is uh, quite a hilarious way to keep it safe. And by hilarious, I mean pretty darn effective. Man, I... I did I mention I love Azipods? I really, really love Azipods. It's great. Really great. So yeah, that's a spin block detection. It is a pure Gorgonzola, so use at your own discretion. I shall judge you... Let's face it, I will judge you a little bit, but since I've used it right now, you can judge me straight back. Wow, I actually did a decent job armoring these turrets. Heavy barrels for the win. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon if you like. It really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Cheese Tactics. Which is basically going to be spin block shenanigans. More. Or not. There's other things that are just as delicious and cheesy. But we'll save that for another day. Farewell!